Unfortunately, Iris, which was once a tropical storm, has been lost in the confusion with Hugo, and that is some good news. And again, we look at a picture of it right now, and again, it's near Charlotte, North Carolina. There, they had a wind gust to 81 miles per hour, and that should be diminishing pretty soon in due time. Maybe we can put this into motion right now. We're going to show you a very interesting loop here, uh, going back about 30 hours or so, and uh, you can see how the hurricane continue on its northwestward course, churning through the Atlantic Ocean, hitting Charleston head-on last night about midnight. And once it hit land, the eye just became filled up with low clouds. And, of course, it's now it's beginning to dissipate, but not the rain. And this goes back about a day and a half or so as the hurricane continued to intensify. And before it hit shore, top winds were up to 135 miles per hour, a very interesting satellite loop. Let's take a look back down to the surface right now and give you the current conditions on Hugo. Again, it's a tropical storm located at 35 north and 80.3 west near Charlotte, North Carolina. Top winds at 70 miles per hour, moving to the north-northwest at 25 miles per hour. So we got the winds combined with the forward motion adding to the gustiness experiencing at Charlotte, North Carolina with the wind gusts of over 80 miles per hour. Elsewhere, we're looking at wind gusts still around Columbia, South Carolina to 50 miles per hour in the middle of another heavy thunderstorm. Otherwise, they begin to diminish the good news. Charleston wind gusts now to only 40. Uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, 33, but they're still getting high surf there. And as we head up towards Cape Hatteras, only 28 miles per hour, but the seas are very, very rough, to say the least. And Athens, Georgia, 23. And of course, the land of Georgia, the highest winds were about 14, 15 miles per hour with some steady light rains. As you can see now, the heaviest rain, uh, again, was left of the wall, uh, wall clouds surrounding the eye, which was once the eye of Hugo. Now moving to the north of Charlotte, they have the gusty winds of 80 miles per hour or higher, and the heavy rains moving off to the north. And the rain's now over with Atlanta's Hartsfield Airport, still raining lightly at Chattanooga. And this is all spinning around the storm center and all moving to the north, again, about 25 to 30 miles per hour. And again, the precipitation since 7 o'clock this morning, Eastern Daylight Time, 4 inches or more across much of South Carolina. Some of it coming down at the rate of about 1 to 2 inches per hour, incredible rains. And locally, now this is the part that's going to hurt. Now watch this very carefully because 10 inches of rain or more with Hugo is certainly a possibility as it heads across the mountains of western North Carolina into Roanoke, Virginia. And that's going to cause a lot of flooding problems especially with some of the air going up the mountains and releasing all of the moisture in a very short period of time. And it's all going to be heading into the northeast. Now, because of the tropical storm status, all the hurricane warnings have been discontinued. Tropical storm warnings taking this place from Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, down to Savannah, Georgia. And I'm sure these will be discontinued later on this morning as the winds continue to slack. And by the way, if you have any friends around Tybee Island or Savannah, they missed the brunt of the storm. Their highest winds were about 47 to 50 miles per hour coming out of the northwest. So they actually had lower tides than normal instead of that storm surge which hit Charleston and points to the north. Meanwhile, until noontime, uh, we're looking at a tornado watch, which, are, which is common when you have a tropical storm or a hurricane, and that will continue in effect until noon for central Virginia into central North Carolina. And we'll continue to update you right through the entire day on Hugo. Now your local forecast.